So hi everybody, today we're going to discuss two things and the first thing is it's about uh, uh, uniqueness theorem and uh, how could uh, how could the electric potential uh, be equal to the, uh, the potential at the boundary everywhere and when does this happen and the second thing is we're going to give an example to show how awesome uniqueness theory could be. So let's just assume we have uh, this problem here. Uh, we have uh, a problem that we assume that the electric potential is only a function of two variables x and y and we know that the potential at the boundary, which is V0, it's a constant, okay? Uh, and we want to know the potential at other points, like, you know, these points. How does uh, the curve could be, could be drawn? So we have, the, we have just the three possibilities. Uh, the first, uh, first one is, let's assume that this is our boundary conditions. Uh, uh, it's a V0, it's a constant, like we just assumed. And we assume that, we will assume this case, that the electric potential just it goes up it goes up like this way okay second uh, possibility is we have v naught like this and it goes down and our final possibility is that it's constant everywhere v equals v naught everywhere okay so let's just think about the first one um, as we as we said before that um, uniqueness theorem tells us that we can't have um, Laplace equation, Laplace equation uh, properties say that all the maxima and minima appear at the boundary, so we can't have a maximum or a minimum. So that just leaves us with the third possibility, and that is the right one. All the potentials are equal on the surface. So in the in this case, the potential is always V naught. Uh, so uh, let's just conclude what we've just done. Is V equal to V boundary at all the time? Well, yes. It only happens if, if our boundary condition is constant. If we have some constant boundary condition, like this case, we had a, a constant boundary condition, V was equal to V naught, and then all the potential was just constant and equal to V naught. Okay, so let's just um, solve this example. It will show us how, uh, how great uniqueness theorem could be. So we have uh, a conductor, which is uh, colored in white here. And we have some cavity, so it's just, you know, a 3D object uh, that's a conductor on, uh, on the out, uh, outside and inside is just a cavity, like a free space or something. And we have a constant potential at, uh, at the boundary, which is V equal to V naught. We want to know the potential everywhere. So we will solve it to, using two methods. The first method is like we just done before, like in this, um, in this slide. We said that if you have a specific constant boundary condition, like this, V equals V naught, then V must be equal to V naught all the time. So that means that without even thinking about it, uniqueness theorem, you know, it, it made us like uh, think about the solution of this problem without even writing any equation or something, that V is equal to V naught everywhere. This is a result of the uniqueness theorem. And we can just think about it, you know, like uh, another way of, of, of thinking about this is we say that both of them have the same boundary conditions. How is that? In, in the case of the conductor, the boundary conditions is that V is equal to V naught because uh, the voltage is, uh, is constant in any conductor and the cavity also of the cavity because the cavity is like it's um, it's um, identical to the conductor it touches the conductor so the cavity has the same potential also uh, the cavity has a potential v equals v naught so they both have the same boundary conditions and they both satisfy Laplace equation because uh, the Laplace chain of v is equal to zero in both cases because there are no free charges here and also in the conductor the potential is constant so if we take the second derivative or something like that we also uh, end up with a zero, so that means that they must both have the uh, since both of them have the same boundary conditions, and they both satisfy the same equation. Uh, here is the Laplace equation. So, uh, then they must also have uh, the same answer, or only one answer can exist, and that's v equals to v naught everywhere. And that's it for today. I wish I have made my point clear. See you next time.